we just announced this new product called FlexPhone. Uh, basically, this FlexPhone can be bendable and you can just put it on your wrist. And this is actually a phone. But then you can also actually um, put it straight and it just works like a, a common phone. Dr. Liu Zihong is brimming with pride as he shows off the FlexPhone. It's a device that exists because of flexible displays and sensors developed by Liu's company. With its record-breaking thickness, or rather thinness, of 0.01 mm, the material can be rolled up freely and made into various products. I'm going to show you some magic now. It is like a pen, right? But actually, we can put it out slowly. It is transparent and it looks just like a piece of paper, but actually it is a keyboard. And then you can connect this with your iPad via Bluetooth, and then you can start to type. Founded in 2012, the company now owns more than 700 IP rights, both at home and abroad. China views innovations such as this as the driving force for development. The country is determined to increase the tech sector's contribution to economic growth to 60 percent by 2020. CPPCC National Committee member Mao Yunshi believes Guangdong province is leading this charge. Guangdong still faces the problem of uneven development, but it has unrolled various policies to boost innovation not only applying to vast developing cities, but also to less developed areas. Guangdong now has about 20,000 tech companies, ranking first nationwide. It will work on increasing investment in tech research and study in the future. He Weiwei, CGTN, Guangdong Province. Now China has taken big strides in technological innovation over the past few years. Last year, in 2016, China filed more than 1.3 million patent applications, smashing a world record and topping global patent applications for the sixth year running. The figure is over twice that of applications filed by the United States. Meanwhile, China's domestic invention patents exceeded 1.1 million at the end of last year. This made China the third country worldwide to hit 1 million mark behind the US and Japan. The figure is widely regarded as an important index to evaluate a country's innovation level. And to compare, it is worth noticing that China didn't introduce a patent law until the year 1985, while the US and Japan enacted their patent laws in 1790 and 1879, respectively.